रिफ्रैक्शन थ्रू प्रिजम सो दिस इज द थिंग वाट यू आर व्यूइंग हियर इज प्रिजम ओके ना सो द स्क्वेर रेक्टांगुलर सैट्स वन टू थ्री दीज थ्री आर द रिफ्रैक्टिंग सर्फेसस् and this is the base of the prism it's an a triangular prism because the base is a, a triangle so now in this activity first you have to take a white chart on which the prism should be placed at the center and using a pencil and using a pencil draw the borders i mean the edges of the prism which appear as an a triangle for us so like this and then now remove the prism and write the vertices of the diagram as a b and a c using a protractor observe the angle here so at the a and let us suppose this angle with the angle of prism and it is now measured to be here 60 degrees so write somewhere as angle of prism a is equals to 60 degrees it means the angle of prism the prism which we have taken is having an a 60 degrees at every vertex so it is an equilateral triangular prism so now select any point on any one of the refracting surface and let it be m and draw a perpendicular line with a normal draw a perpendicular line and let it be a normal for the refracting surface ab now using a protractor take any angle of incidence so let it be i have taken now here the angle of incidence be 30 degrees the angle of incidence as a 30 degrees i have taken and this is the angle of incidence i and that is nothing but a 30 degrees and somewhere draw a table with a values i1 and i2 and the angle of deviation as a d now i have taken i1 as a 30 degrees and noted in the table now take two nails take two nails and place two points on the incident line drawn here and let the points be as p and q with something with the help of anything you just place the two nails on the incident line so like this and similarly one more nail also such that the two nails lie on the same incident ray now place the prism in its original position now place the prism in its original position and observe from the other side of the prism such that the two nails should be observed in a straight line so like this so now here we can view the nails in a straight direction the two nails are viewed in a straight direction taking one more nail taking one more nail so place one more nail such that all the three nails appear in a straight line to us while viewing place the three nails place one more nail on this side such that all the three nails appear in a straight direction प्रिजम so you can view here <coughs> okay na through the prism all the four <coughs> nails are observed to be in a straight line so that it means uh, the outside the two nails form a refracted ray on to the prism so by removing the prism now so we have to join these two nails on to the prism on the another side yeah. refracting surface uh, so we can get in a another emergent ray so we will draw the now line by removing these two nails from its position because we have observed uh, those in a straight line so now joining these two dots and on to the prism so we can get in a refracted ray we can get a refracted ray in this manner either upward or a downward and now drawing a normal line here on this perpendicular to the another refracting surface and this is in a normal again and let us point this n and this angle will be the i2 again similarly in the first case by using an a protractor measure the angle here measure the angle of refraction here 
so I noted in the table now here we got the angle of refraction as nearly so 45 degrees we have got or 44 degrees we have got now we have to measure the deviation of the refracted ray through the prism so now extend this incident ray and similarly extend the refracted ray and the angle made by these two here gives the deviation so using a protractor again measure the angle of deviation here so we got the deviation nearly 50 degrees so like this for different angle of incidences i1 40 and 50 degrees and 60 similarly for different cases measure i2 and the angle of deviations now plot for the angle of incidence i1 and d as a graph as a graph and on the x-axis take the i1 values and on the y-axis you take the deviation values so after plotting these values we will get a curve like this and the minimum point here where we have obtained and this is called as an a D and where D stands for minimum deviation. D stands for minimum deviation and at this minimum deviation whatever the angle of incidence I1 will be equals to I2. And in this case the refracted ray obtained here will be a straight line parallel to the base of the prism. So we can have the image like this I mean for the minimum deviation the prism the diagram can be expected to be like this so if we can view like this somehow a triangle can be drawn and if we view so this is a normal incidence and let us suppose this is the angle of incidence and i1 for the minimum deviation the ray or the refracted ray will be a parallel to the base of the prism and here one more normal we can take and this might be the refracted ray obtained like this and this is i2 so here i1 will be equal to i2 as well as the deviation obtained here will be minimum deviation obtained will be here minimum, minimum. and this a b and c stop okay.